One of the most common questions I get is, should I buy the 27 millimeter pancake lens for Fujifilm or the 23 millimeter lens for Fujifilm uh, WRF2 version? Now, uh, that was what this video was supposed to be about, but my 23 millimeter is on its way to Mount Everest because a friend borrowed it. I hope he has a good time with it. <laughs> so I decided to, you know what, for fun, Let's compare the 27 millimeter with the 35 millimeter F2 lens. And I think there's really only two main reasons to get the 27 millimeter F2. Um, before I tell you that, there is a newer version of this lens. I own the older version. And the differences are the newer version has an aperture ring. That's probably one of the best, uh, you know, added features for that lens. And it also has a little bit more weather resistant. It has a little rubber gasket. So I have the older version, but optically, apparently, they're both the same. So the two reasons to get the 27 millimeter, in my opinion, the two main reasons are size and that you prefer that focal length. As far as image quality goes and robustness goes and maybe resale value goes, I think you're better off with the 35 millimeter F2 and also the 23 millimeter F2. All right, let's get into specifics. The 35 millimeter F2 is better built, has the aperture ring on there, and has kind of the same focus wheel. Let's see, they're about the same size, the little focus ring. The 27 millimeter 2.8 is a little more plasticky, although it does have a metal mount, uh, and it's super light, and that's the whole point of this lens. It's super light and small. Here's what it looks like on a tiny camera, like the Fujifilm X-T20. I also love putting it on this older Fujifilm X-E2. I think it's actually better on the X-E system than the X-T system, although that's very subjective. But I think it looks much cooler uh, if you're into that, how your lenses look. <laughs> now, by the way, we should mention, and it goes without saying, that neither one of these lenses is going to make you a better photographer, okay? It's all about light, composition, and you can rock out any photography with the junkiest lenses. So don't stress so much about which one is like sharper and which one's like a better lens. Um, it comes down again to your size preference and focal length. And I'll try to kind of explain that a little bit in this video. Now, the one thing you do, oh, by the way, I'll show you what they look like on the larger camera. Here's what the 35 millimeter looks like on the X-T3. It's like basically perfect. <laughs> right there and on the smaller camera I've shown this on the channel so many times but here's what the uh, 35 looks like on the X-T20 which is the same as the X-T30 yo and maybe the XS10 and it makes the camera slightly heavier better balanced on the larger bodies but not by much now you could make an argument that you should own both <laughs> and I will make that argument because I own both I use the 27 millimeter lens almost like if I'm just gonna go out with no kit. So I don't have a bag. I just wanna carry a Fujifilm camera around with a lens. And so for me, that's how I use the 27 millimeter, you know what it's called. So when I'm just going out with one camera and one lens and I am just wanna take some snaps, the 27 millimeter is my choice because of its size. And that's why I said size is a big determining factor. You obviously want to get this lens because you're trying to be lightweight or maybe you want to fit this in a small little tiny bag with other things. Very, very, very small. Now, if I have a little bag with a kit and it's got multiple Fujifilm lenses, that's where the 35 lives with the other lenses. It means I'm doing photography and switching lenses out. I maybe have the 18 to 55 as a general lens and then the 35 as sort of my F2 bocaliciousness lens. So that thir the 35 is what I grab when I have a little Fujifilm kit that I'm walking around with. Really quick, if I can only live with one, it would be the 35 millimeter F2. And that is more of a preference of the F2-ness, but also more the compression. I kind of like the flat look that you get from the 35 F2. If you put images side by side, with the 35 millimeter F2 versus the 27, the 27 definitely has a little bit of a wider look. Uh, if you take the same picture at the same distance, 
It has a wider look, of course, because it's a 40 millimeter equivalent and the 35 millimeter is like a 50 millimeter equivalent in full frame. And um, you not only get like a, a wider look with the 27, what happens to the background is the background sort of, sort of looks like it comes a little bit closer and the image is a little flatter. So I prefer that look because I like to shoot uh, portraits a little bit more. So if you're shooting portraits, I would totally recommend the 35 uh, millimeter F2. Okay, minimum focus distance. Minimum focus distance is better on the 35 millimeter F2. On the 27 millimeter, it's fine, uh, but the 35 definitely can get you a little bit more macro-y look than the 27. So I prefer the 35 millimeter for getting up close. The 27 millimeter I prefer for an overall walk around street focal length. And that's what you kind of have to ask yourself. And also brings the 23 millimeter into this conversation, although it's on its way to Everest, so it's not in this video. <laughs> but I will mention it because that's a better comparison. The 23 millimeter or the 27. The 23 millimeter F2 is the equivalent of a sort of 35 millimeter, which is great for street. And then once you start getting into this 27 and this 35, you really have to like that focal length for street. There is less, if you're walking around on the street, it's a little harder to get a whole scene in at, at this focal length. And so for Fujifilm, you should probably look at 23 and 18 if you want a prime that is a little bit wider. That's why personally, I actually prefer to walk around with the 18 to 55 lens and uh, just call it a day because that gives me all the focal lengths. Because just to be, to be honest, with Fujifilm lately, I've been shooting more stop down. Now, although this is a 2.8 and this is an F2, which by the way, the F2 comes in handy if you're in lower light, um, I feel like lately I've been using my Fujifilm cameras not wide open. I've been shooting them stop down a bit, uh, F4, 5.6, and I've been concentrating more on capturing light, composition, and moments. And when I wanna do more separation and bokeh work, I've been loving the Nikon Z6 II for that. You slap a 50 on that thing and the separation is just ridiculous. And if you slap on the 105 1.4, forget about it. Uh, but if you're shooting low light with Fujifilm, you should probably look at the 1.4s or maybe some of the options from Viltrox. Check those lenses out too because they open wide open, you know, at 1.4 and you can let in a lot more light and keep your ISOs down. Now, as far as image quality goes, the 35 millimeter, if I go side by side and I'm pixel peeping at 100%, the 35 millimeter is sharper, like, you know, brick is sharper slightly. Um, and the images are definitely a little crisper on the 35. So if you want to get better image quality, I would definitely go with the 35 and the 23 F2. Uh, but no one will notice if you shoot, like I said, at 5.6 or, you know, F8, if you're shooting this for, that's how I really recommend using this lens is kind of like stop down F4, 5.6, and you bought it because of its size and you like its focal length. If that's not what you're looking for, like you don't care so much about the tiny size, definitely the 23 millimeter F2 and 35 millimeter F2. I would recommend if you have the smaller cameras, XE2, XE4, you really should have this in your kit. And should you get the new one or should you get the used one? I would recommend getting the new one because the only way to change your aperture is using the dials. And I notice sometimes when I change lenses, I don't know why, but it goes from being able to change the aperture to when you put when I put this lens back on the camera, it reverts back to program mode and then have to spin the dial again to get the colors in blue. I don't know why that happens, but either way, they're not going to make you a better photographer, but you will look super cool. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys next time.